San Jose is celebrating another step forward in its goal of tackling the homeless crisis. It's a big part of the mayor's agenda. In fact, he recently asked the city to look at banning homeless camps in parts of the city. Of course, to do that, the campers need another place to go. So that's why the mayor is making a push to scale up its stock of emergency housing. Today, the city broke ground on its biggest site yet. Linda Mears shows us it will soon provide hundreds of beds for people living on the streets. Well, the land that this new housing will be built upon was actually the site of a very large homeless encampment not that long ago. Now, some of the folks who used to live here and are still camped nearby will be asked to come back and be some of the first residents. The ground had already been broken on San Jose's newest and largest emergency interim housing site by the time the ceremonial shovels went into the ground. <laughs> That's how fast the city is moving to build the project at Branham and Monterey Road that could house more than 200 people. I have my own little key. And right there in the middle of it was Jaime Navarro. Jaime spent nine years on the streets. He's now living in a completed emergency housing site on Rue Ferrari and says coming indoors was a life changer. I'm able to hold down a job now. I work at Chevron. That's all I need. It was a little bit of help. Mayor Matt Mahan said outcomes like that are what the city wants to see more of. I believe we in government have a responsibility for providing basic, dignified shelter and housing options for everyone who needs them. But at the same time, his administration is working on plans to expand no encampment zones in more parts of the city. We're certainly not going to take people to jail for being homeless, but I do think it's appropriate for us to have no encampment zones around schools and daycare centers and key commercial districts if and when there's housing available. The city is trying to fast track the modular three-story development and have it completed in a year instead of the normal two to three years. The problem is really Robin bad. Estrada, who lives nearby, says the development could even be a plus for the neighborhood. It's great that they're using the exact land that the homeless were on anyways and and using it for them in an official way, in a way that maybe the neighbors won't think it's an eyesore. Mayor Mahan says this project and others, which started under his predecessor, Mayor Sam Licardo, will bring the city closer to its goal of moving a thousand people out of encampments by the end of the year. So let's take a look at some of these stats. Last year's countywide homeless survey found 75% of homeless residents are unsheltered in San Jose. Now that's down from 84% in 2019. Now the city now has nearly 700 interim housing units ready for under construction with 300 more in the pipeline. So that gets it to 20% of the mayor's goal, on the way to the mayor's goal. And it was just yesterday, mayors across California gathered in Sacramento to lobby the state for at least $3 billion a year in funding to address homelessness. They say they can't solve the problem without a consistent stream of money. But the governor wants some accountability. He says cities have already received billions and have failed to produce results.